everybody, it's Chloe DeMere of Save the Victor. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. There's another video from your older than average YouTuber who um, is just addicted to makeup. We, Houston, we have a problem. Um, so today's video is gonna probably be a relatively short video. Here's another week of no new releases that entertained me. Two weeks in a row. What's going on, makeup companies? We finally slowing down or are we just sleeping? <laughs> no idea. So today's video is going to be my sort of top 10 items if they all of a sudden disappeared in my collection. Poof, all my makeup disappeared in a puff of smoke. What items would I have to own again? If that's something you're into, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. Okay, you still here? Excellent. Alrighty. So we're going to go over um, approximately <laughs> 10 of my favorite items. It's mostly going to be eyeshadow. I have one thing that's sort of not eyeshadow related. I mean, base products come and go. There's always new fun blushes and lipsticks to try, but sometimes you've just got some tried and true palettes and things that if they disappeared, you'd cry. So I wanna go through all of these. So it is a little bit of a stacky stack here and let's go. So I'm gonna start with the two things that aren't palettes. And the first off is my favorite highlighter of all time, and that is Solar Sailor by Kaleidos. I adore this. It looks white, but it's a very yellow highlighter. There we go. It is one, my favorite highlighter. I'm starting to get a really nice divot in here. And luckily for me, because I was crazy and ended up buying the whole set because I only had at the time three highlighters. A limited edition one, which wasn't included in the set, was the first um, multi-chrome highlighter that they had. And then I had this one and then I had can't remember, I had another one. So anyway, so I thought I can buy that whole set, got a great deal. And the one sort of duplicate had been reissued and made slightly different from the one I had. And this one, I was very happy to have a um, extra copy because it is my favorite. And uh, maybe I had two duplicates and there was another one that I had, yeah. So one where I had a duplicate duplicate where it hadn't changed formula, I gave to a friend. The one that changed formula or kind of color, I liked my original one better, so I gave the other one away. And I was very happy to have this one, which is my favorite highlighter of all time. Um, I'm still kicking myself from not getting their green highlighter. I just missed it when they stopped carrying it and their first one and I, from this kind of like set of highlighters. And I'm still distraught years later. But this is my favorite highlighter. And if it disappeared and my extra one disappeared, I would need to have this one again come heck or high water. Alrighty, so the second thing that is not a palette, but it's still eyeshadow related, is these here from Ace Beauté. So this is their Tropical Vibes Glimmer Shadows. Holy crap, I love these, love these, love these. There's four in a set, they need to make a squillion more colors, and they're all shimmery and they're all green, <laughs> which I love. So you've got more, well, I guess I should put them these two together and these two together. So we've got a light and a darker in a more grungy tone of a green, and then we have a brighter and a darker of a darker green. And these are just so beautiful. Look at these. They got kind of a bit of a putty-ish feel to them and uh, let's not put over the colitis and look at that i mean come on these are beautiful they last forever on the eyes i know i didn't buy that tropical vibes palette i still kind of want it but i felt like i had enough of those colors at the moment in my collection but when i was picking up one of the other favorite items in this 
because there was a sale, I decided to try these because I thought they were different from my collection and they are, and I love them. And if they disappeared in my collection, I would seriously want to buy them again. I think the last time I looked, they were out of stock, but I hope they bring them back because if you've not tried these, I mean, come on now you should do alrighty so let's do some of my favorite palettes I didn't put them in any kind of order because they're all special for different reasons so um let's go with one of my favorite palettes of all times all time so maybe I could say this one might be my number one palette if I was going to pick one of these palettes to sort of be number one and this is from Midas Cosmetics and this is the Lemonade palette I love this palette I have yet to find a palette that has these shades in it that performs any better or I love better. I just love this. I'm so glad because Midas was originally going to stop um, stop being a brand but then they heard a lot of people saying that they wanted them back and they're just doing a name change and doing some things and I'm hoping they're able to move forward. But I love this palette. I think currently it's not available on the website this particular one but this is one if they're going to bring one back. They should. It came out, I think, near to the same time as the ColourPop Honey something or other. And then there was this talk as to which one's better. And everybody kind of agreed that the Midas one was better. And that was at the time where I still thought I kind of liked ColourPop or was into ColourPop. So it was kind of, should I, shouldn't I? But then when all the consensuses came in that this was the better one, I went for this instead. And I don't regret it because I love this palette. So if I want a simple yellowy eye, this is the palette I gravitate to all the time. It is so good. So if you have this one or you have access to get this one, highly recommend. Alrighty, so now, like I said, all the other palettes I have, they all are special for different reasons. So we were talking about the Glimmer Shadow, so let's go with the palette that I picked up that, um, that I wanted and I added those shadows to, and this is it. So this is the Ace Beauté Oceanic palette. I had looked at this one forever, but originally shipping to get to me was kind of crazy. I mean, it still sort of is, but if you get the right sale, it's worth it. So I had bought the first palette I ever tried. I got through Poshmark and I loved it. And then when I had a chance to pick this up, and this is the old formula, the first, Pal the first palette that I got through Poshmark that was Ace Beauté, which was still a brand new in package, was also old formula and I loved it. So when I could get this one for $9, I said, yes, please. And the formula is great. And this is the world's most perfect color story. I think this is my favorite color story of all time. I love greens, but with these pops of blue, they're the perfect greens. I just adore this palette. The shimmers are, they're not multi-chromes or duochromes or anything, but they're awesome. They stay all day. I don't have to pat them down. I adore this palette. So, and it is my my perfect color story, I think. I adore this palette. And again, ha would if this would disappear in a puff of smoke, old, call, old formula, new formula, whatever, I would need this color story again. So there we go. I kind of, it's funny when I was going through this, there are brands that I love and I wanna buy all their things and some of them didn't make it into the palettes I would die for. So I think at some point, I think I should do my favorite of every single brand that I own and go from there. But I'm gonna be doing some deep dives into some favorite brands as well. So let's just talk about favorite brands and great color stories. And we're gonna go with Lois Cosmetics Gone Rogue. This one, I believe, may be discontinued. I'm not sure. I know the rose metal one is, but this one is amazing. And you'll see why when I open it. Look at that color story. It is beautiful, but this green is the most beautiful green in the world. So I'm gonna take that here. It's also too soft and buttery. And we're gonna go put this by my Ace Beauté and look how beautiful that is. I love this palette. I love all my Lois um, Cosmetics palettes. The rose gold one is beautiful. It's my most kind of neutrally pinky palette that I love, but I just really have a soft spot for this one and I love wearing bright colors. And if this one would disappear, I think I would possibly cry, especially just for this green alone. But I adore this palette so much, so, so, so much. And again, puff of smoke, I would want it back. Um, let's see. Let's talk about, it's my newest. I won it in a um, contest 
and man, it is another perfect palette. And this is the P. Louise Money Shot. The quality is amazing. The packaging's a, a little much, but it's got two color or two trays of all the greens I can handle. So we've got the more brighter greens, and then we've got kind of more grungy, muted um, greens, a little bit of, with a bit of a yellowy feel, bronzy feel on the bottom. But this, oh my God. Now, if I could only buy one palette, it would be tough. It would definitely between the, be this and the Ace Beauté. But I think for bang for the buck, this would be probably the one that I would get. But if I could only get two palettes, it would definitely be this palette and the Ace Beauté. But look at that. It's just so beautiful. I love it. It's still available at P. Louise. So if they have a good sale, I highly recommend if you love greens and green adjacent colors. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, six items. And I got six, seven, eight, nine, 11. <laughs> Alrighty. So here's another new brand to my collection and I've been really loving this so much and it's kind of a great covers all your bases palette and this is the Interstellar um, by Be Perfect. So it's the Carnival 5 Interstellar palette and it is again another gorgeous one. Let's just tilt the mirror away so I don't blind you but it's got the beautiful grays and blacks that I love. It's got greens, it's got pinks, it's got blues, it's got some purples. This is awesome. Does it have any neutrals? No, not really. So that's a yay for me. <laughs> so it's kind of like a mix of a rainbow palette and a grungy gray and black palette. The quality is amazing. These, these shimmers, especially the putty ones are so amazing. Let's take another one of these greens since we've been focusing on the greens here for the most part. This is kind of like a green blue. And look at that so beautiful. I love this palette so much. This was the first purchase that I ever made from them. I managed to score a really good deal on this, so it made it worth it to pick up. I love this palette, and since then I've been gifted some other Be Perfect palettes, and I love them all. But this is definitely one if I was really, really sad. If I lost it, I'd be really, really sad. Okay, now I was saying I like things for all different reasons. So we have the beautiful greens, we have the perfect color story, we've got the yellows that I love, we've got the covers all my bases palette. Now let's go with some shimmery shimmer. And this is for Grand Girls and this is the Radioactive palette. It was hard, I, lo I love a lot of their palettes, but I was like, no, I wanna pick something that's special and something that I really like. And between this one and the Ethereal palette, this was kind of the winner. I was also looking at Sugar Drizzle Polis, which who I also love with a, with a passion, but I think this um, set of colors and like duochromes and shimmer shades is the best. Like, look, okay, we're gonna digress from greens. We're gonna go look at this, like, raspberry-ish red shade. I mean, look at that. So let's do that. Put that down here. I mean, come on, like, look at even just this color story here. Like, how beautiful is that, right? Wouldn't you miss this if this disappeared in a puff of smoke? And it's a small brand. Um, the majority of these are pretty small or like indie brands. So there we go. But I mean, come on. All right, so let's do, I'm gonna do my cheater my cheater one last. And you go, and this was another one that was hard to pick which one I liked best. But the I think the majority, or maybe it's half and half. Half are palettes that I've created myself, another half are pre-made ones. And so I decided to stick at the moment to pre-made, and this would be from Lethal Cosmetics, and this would be the Evergreen palette. The, this one came out with another one at the same time, name escapes me, but it's also beautiful. <laughs> and it's another color story that I adore. Um, it's a nice mix of shimmeries and matty shades. And let's, let's swatch a blue one. So, no, I should be swatching some mattes too, but maybe on the next, the next, but like, look. Like, isn't this arm getting so beautiful? <laughs> Yes. So yes, I love the quality. I love um, that vegan cruelty free. Um, 
you know, this color story. It is beautiful. Like, I love this so much. And again, this is another one. If it disappeared in a puff of smoke, I'd be mighty sad. Alrighty, so now technically I should be doing just one more, but I decided to do, since they're themed, to do them together. And that is the Shroud Cosmetics Hello Bean and it's freaking bats. <laughs> so these are the, well, she now goes by Batty Bean, but she used to go as Butte Bean. And anyways, these are the two palettes that she's done so far. One is, and they're both is Hello Friends, which is what she says all the time. And they're complimentary color stories and they're absolutely stunning. So let me see if I can do this in a way that's a little less blinding and show the two together. So there we go. So this is like, cause I love Halloween. This is like your perfect Halloween world. It was. I liked the one from Gourmand Girls. I love that Halloween one. And then there's another one um, that I have that I really love. I have a few different Halloween ones, but I, I really love the Shroud Cosmetics formula. They have a palette out that came out this year that I want so bad, but luckily it's not limited edition, so I can hopefully get it next year. But here we go. So these ones, I just, it was hard. It was like, which one? At first I was like, well, I should go with the original, then I mean, look at the orange, right? So let's swatch. Since we haven't been doing any mattes, let me swatch. Let's do, it's showtime. So kind of like a Beetlejuice reference. So like so, so let's just do a matte one there. Look at that. So again, it's going in with my color story. And then from this one, let's see, what did we do? We did a green. Let's go with the shade. Hmm. Let's go with the shade Dairy. So this shade here, so this is a super, super dark purple shade. And let's do that here. Like, look at that. It's on a weird spot on my arm, so it's not patchy. It's my skin sorry but here we go look at that see so we've got some dark lots of shiny and light and there we go so yeah so the last two that um if they disappeared in a puff of smoke that i would love to get back would be the shroud cosmetics it's freaking bats and halloween <laughs> so there we go so those are the products that if they disappeared i would cry I mean, if, I guess if I want to give a one more shout out, I think I would cry if all my Besame lipsticks disappeared, <laughs> especially the Besame red. But I thought I would stick to everybody's favorite thing, which is eyeshadows and a little bit of shimmer. So there we go. So those are some of the things that if they disappeared in a puff of smoke, I would cry and I would need to rebuy if they were available. <laughs> so there we go. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe even hit that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still see what um, are my favorites in my collection. As always, behave, make good choices, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.